Welcome to our first full day here in North Devon. As you can see, uh, the weather's not amazing, but it's not too bad either. And um, what a lovely view. Uh, I just wanted to pop out and see how the car charged up overnight. So uh, as you can see here, um, we're plugged in on the granny charger overnight into the wall. Um, and that was courtesy of the people that own this place. Um, I shall take you around it later. It's an Airbnb property and the um, lady Alison who owns it has very kindly let me plug in here um, and uh, said she's happy for me to film around the place and talk to you about it. 100% brilliant. So we've got a full day today. Let's turn that off. There we go. Uh, never put your foot on the brake when you're trying to turn it off. Never noticed that before, there you go. Now, while I've got some peace and quiet, because I tried about 10 times yesterday uh, to update you on some um, motor racing news. Now, I don't normally talk about motor racing, but uh, this is to do with electric motorbikes. Now, you're probably aware that there's a Formula E series, which is uh, the kind of Formula One of electric cars. Uh, that's a standalone series and um, it's very, very popular and it's getting better and better every year. And there's some quite big names that drive in it. So um, that's doing really well. And we're starting to see the kind of the tumble down of the technology into some of the higher end electric vehicles now. And that's only going to increase and carry on much like Formula One does with high end performance cars on the road and then ultimately ends up in the cars that we drive. So the reason I'm excited about the electric motorbike series is because it's going to form part of, hello, <laughs> Sarah's just got up. <laughs> um, the reason I'm excited about that, see, this is why I sit out here and do it, because I just get disturbed when they're all around. Um, yeah, the reason I'm excited about that is because uh, this is going to form part of the MotoGP series, as opposed to being a standalone one. So the owners of MotoGP have said that they're going to run uh, a number of races, support races, with electric motorbikes throughout the season. And there's a number of reasons why this is really, really good. The first and foremost is this keeps it in line with the, the main part of the sport. So people are going to go and watch MotoGP. They're also going to get to see the electric motorbike. The Island Man, TT, has been um, doing this for, I think, was it 2010, I think it started. And every year you see a real marked increase in uh, the speed they're going, the, the times. It's really, really good. So this is just going to fire things forward once again now as i understand it there's going to be three manufacturers running i think 18 bikes might be wrong but i think it's 18 bikes they're going to do uh, 10 lap races and uh here's the other really really big thing that um hopefully they'll they'll take forward and they will do this because this is what they've said from the off every track that they race at they're going to install solar panels and the, the idea is that there's going to be enough renewable energy to charge the bikes <clears throat> how feasible that is I don't know but the legacy they're going to leave behind at each track will be banks of solar panels so they're kind of promoting the whole renewable energy this is going to be hopefully a, a zero emissions race series attached to the main race series and let's be honest one day it'll probably take over it and it will just be a natural progression where I think there's going to be probably a bit more of a battle when it comes to Formula E, Formula One. But um, that is a few years down the line yet. Yeah? I think it's going to come quicker than we're expecting at the moment, but um, it is a few years down the line yet. Yeah. So for me, that was some really, really positive news. Um, you know, electric bikes, they're, all, they're on the road. There's a few companies like Zero who make incredible bikes, but this is just going to catapult them forward now and um, yeah, roll on 2019 when they launch it. Come on, quick, the sun's out, let's go. Annabelle! Don't wear yourself out! Come on! Steady! Brakes! <laughs> and we're on the beach! Annabelle! It's been literally two minutes and she's already got her feet up to her ankle in water. Up over this one. Look at these rock pools. These are good ones. Yeah! Oh, look at that one! I know. Go right over there, Annabelle. Can you bring it home? 
cuttlefish. Can you bring it home? Yeah. Don't know what we'd do with it though, do you? Mm. Should we leave it here? Don't, no, bring it. Bring it. Oh, bring it. I didn't like it. <laughs> Why not? It's just a bit of shell. I don't like it. Okay, should we put it in the water? Oh, <laughs> Will you stop it. dropping it? <laughs> it's just a bit of shell. I don't like it! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, put it in the water. Forget it's these little simple things in life <laughs> that the kids love the most. Have you seen any sea creatures yet? No. Oh, here comes the water again. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. 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 I think there's an awful lot to be said for kind of youthful innocence. You know, we spend all this time taking them to theatres, uh, you know, playstations, uh, theme parks. You know, these are the things we do as parents to entertain our children. But actually, what more do they need? They absolutely love this environment. And to be honest, I think if it wasn't for Sarah, we wouldn't come and do these things as much. I grew up near the coast. Uh, so for me, it's kind of, it's nothing out of the ordinary. And, if I'm honest, I got a bit bored as a kid going to the coast, but Sarah's from Manchester, so for her it's still a really exciting thing to do, and I think that rubs off on the kids. And what more do they need? A bit of water, some rock pools, some stones to climb on, they're happy here all day. It's, um, it's so nice to see, and uh, it, you know, it doesn't cost a penny, we're not trying to entertain them doing anything, we just need the weather. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's just a really nice day out. Careful. Well, considering it's supposed to rain all day today, I can't believe we've had about four hours on the beach, in and out of the water, and um, even now the sun's still trying to come through. So a, a pretty successful day all round. I think poor old Thomas is getting a bit hungry now. We didn't have a massive lunch and he's been running around and in the water a lot. So um, to stop him from winding too much, we're gonna go and get a, a bit of an afternoon snack, keep him going and um, see what else is in the area. There's no service on the phone. And also, search this and it says a telematics communication is busy. I've never seen that before. Does that mean it's got no signal? All right, there you go. We've moved up the coast now to Ilfracombe and um, a well, I think, earned coffee. Uh, kids are being hard work today. I don't know if they've um, just not eaten enough or what it is, but uh, they want everything and they're being particularly whingy, which isn't making it great. But uh, we're going to head down here somewhere and now I've lost them. Oh, there they are. Hello. What have you done with everyone, Thomas? They're down there. That's downhill. That'd be... You've got, look, you've got flip flops on and you want to run down that hill, what do you think will happen at the bottom? Do you think you might run out your flip-flops and hurt your toe? No. Sure? Wait, stop Come on. me and Annabelle. Careful, 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 careful. Oh, I don't want to watch. Well, there we go, back home now. Uh, feels like we've been out for days. Um, it's, been, it's been lovely, it's been really good. Even though the kids were a bit hard at times, we've had a good time. So. Um, Got back, I'm just going to plug in and um, get the kettle on and sort some dinner out. And then we've been given a bottle of, I think it's toffee flavoured vodka, which sounds awful, but we had a try last night and my goodness, it's good. So we might have a couple of those in a bit just to recover. on this charger it absolutely chucked it down last night and um because of the protection of that bush and the fact it's an outside one uh, it was fine nothing to worry about there at all so um hopefully we'll get another good charge tonight <laughs> 